It's really about showing up for yourself and allowing yourself to surrender and let go of resistance. That is what meditation is. And it can be challenging, right? You know. Completely. Hey guys, today I am here with the beautiful Jodie Shield. Hey. Hello. Hello. So Jodie is also a Lululemon ambassador, but Jodie is an ambassador for meditation. And so I thought I would use Jodie's expertise to have a little bit of a chat about meditation, particularly for those of you that aren't interested in yoga necessarily and just mm. rack Jodie's brains about how you could start meditation mm. yeah. without the yoga. It's really interesting that you say that because I often find myself getting put into the same category as yoga. So it's almost like, oh, we don't do meditation because we don't do yoga. And I want to say, I don't do yoga either. So, <laughs> so I'm still trying to drag you to one of my classes. You are, and I, I'm so there, I'm so there. So when, before I really started doing yoga in the same way that I do now, I went to one of your meditation sessions and I'd never really tried meditation before and I booked in and realised that it was an hour long and I completely panicked because <laughs> I thought everybody else in there is going to know exactly what they're doing and I was scared basically and so I thought it would be nice to share some ideas about what you can do to sort of take those first steps into exploring meditation. Yeah. Because you're, you're such a brilliant teacher and actually that that hour flew past, I didn't even notice, but that might not be the same experience for everybody else. Yeah. So what would you say to someone that's looking at exploring it for the first time? It's all about the voice, yeah. all about the meditation voice. <laughs> first of all, I think that whenever we show up and do anything new, there's, there's resistance there. Whenever you show up and do yoga teacher training for the first time, there's resistance there. So if you feel resistance, and I mean kind of fear or anything coming up, just at the mere mention of the word meditation, just honor that and allow those feelings to be here. Meditation, the way that I run meditation actually is, it is in a very open and accessible way. So it really doesn't matter if you've had no previous experience of meditating at all. Like it's me. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, but you can tell. It's really about just showing up for the time and space that meditation gives you. And I think a really great place to start actually is, is just committing to 10, 15 minutes every morning and following a guided session because it's very different when you have to go off and do it yourself and just sit there and like, you know, close your eyes and like your mind's just racing and there's so many things going on. However, if you, if you have a guided meditation recording that you can just pop in and listen to and allow yourself to be guided by the voice on there, it's really helpful. So I've got loads on my website actually that are around different themes. So how to have a deeper sleep, how to let go of resistance, how to um, open your heart more, how to have a more energized day. And they're free. So head over to the website. Yeah, and they're page. really good. They're Thank really, you. really good. And they're, they're perfect because you can just listen to them. You can pick your time during the day, mm -hmm. pick your theme mm -hmm. and kind of tune in, which is awesome. Yeah, and away you go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. How would you explain meditation? What's meditation for for you? Yeah, that's a really, really interesting question because I think every meditation teacher has a different way of answering. Um, for me, of course, it's about quieting the mind. I mean, no doubt. For me, it's more of a holistic experience. So you're showing up and you're giving yourself an opportunity to release the resistance, the craziness, the tension from the mind, body, heart, soul, if that's your thing. And I think we hold on to so much in our bodies and our minds and you know when we experience things we hold on to the experience of the thing and so we've got a lot of baggage that we're holding on to and we need a way of releasing it and letting it go so I very much see my version of meditation as a accessible way for people to come and let go of stuff that they've been carrying all day long or week long or month long or year long oh, or life, life long <laughs> and I, yeah. I do think that is what's so special about your work as it is so accessible and it doesn't require you to have kind of done loads of personal work before because a lot of yeah. people don't actually don't actually realize that they're holding on to stuff you know mm. you don't have to come to meditation because you know that you've experienced certain mm. trauma or that you're kind of dealing with certain things mm, it absolutely. really is for everyone right yeah absolutely i think that 
the less you want to know about yourself and your stories, the better. Actually, mm. just showing up and just knowing that you feel a bit heavy in your body, a little bit tight in the shoulders, a little bit over analytical in the mind or a little bit tight in the heart is perfect. And actually, yeah, I remember supporting one person because I work with brands as well. So going to corporate offices and, and, and run meditation sessions there. And one lady had had insomnia for three years and she turned up for a session with me. And after like two sessions, she was emailing me saying, I can't believe this. Like I'm starting to have full like nine hours sleep and it's changed my life because we all know how important sleep is, right? Yeah. It's amazing when you just turn up for something and, and let go of a few things. That you don't even know that you, you don't even know that exists. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing. It's so, so special to have you here. And Jody has, like we said, amazing content online to help you guys get started. It'd be great to hear if you give them a try. It's always fun to, yeah, to hear how I people get on. Yeah. And you're also running meditation sessions in London, but also online now as well, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. There's tons of things. If you just go to the events page on the website, come and get involved with me in person and uh, enjoy an in-person experience. And also we've started running sessions online as well. So for those of you who are outside London, it's a chance for you to get involved as well. So I'll leave all the links to all of Jodie's work in the box below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey!